If you've ever done a fire drill, washed your hands, or worn a seat belt, you have practiced harm reduction. Making a plan and taking precautions is the best way to protect yourself against potential harms. At Tapestry, we believe that the same is true for substance use. Whether you use drugs yourself or know someone who does, everyone can help make our community healthier and safer. Before we start, here are some general practices to always keep in mind when injecting drugs. Only use your own supplies. If you can, use new sterile supplies every time you inject. Make a safety plan. Syringes. Everyone needs a little something different when it comes to syringes, and Tapestry will help you find the one for you. Using a new needle can prevent infection, abscesses, vein damage, and a whole bunch of other unpleasant things. Here are some quick tips for safer injection. If you can, only use needles once and try not to share them. Inject the needle with the bevel facing up. Dispose of used needles in a sharp spin and bring them into tapestry for needle exchange. As much as we love talking about needles, syringes aren't the only star of the show. There are a lot of other supplies to know about for safer drug use. Cookers. This is where you prep drugs for injection. When you dissolve drugs, use sterile water or saline solution if possible. Non-sterile water can be a major source of bacteria. Some drugs, like crack cocaine or crystal meth, need to be broken down with an acid. Tapestry can provide you with vitamin C for this, which is safer than lemon juice or vinegar. Don't be fooled by an empty cooker. Viruses like hepatitis C can live in there for up to 72 hours, so only use them once if possible. Cottons. Once your drugs are ready to go, draw them into the syringe through a fresh cotton. Having sterile cottons is another great way to avoid infection. Reusing cottons is dangerous. Since cottons are moist, they're a breeding ground for bacteria. And while we're talking about bacteria, try to clean the injection site with an alcohol wipe before using to prevent infection. Tourniquet. Tourniquets make it easier for you to find your veins. Like we said before, proper injection practices can prevent serious vein and tissue damage. Shoelaces, ropes, and other objects may seem like okay substitutes, but they can cut off your circulation. Always take off your tourniquet right before injecting. All of these supplies, and many more, are available to you at Tapestry. Having a safety plan every time you use is just as important as having new sterile works. Drug use can be a health risk, just like smoking cigarettes or drinking alcohol. At Tapestry, we believe that keeping it real can save lives. So here comes the heavy stuff. Overdosing can be a scary but preventable risk of using opioids. Naloxone, or Narcan, is a medication that can help temporarily reverse an overdose. Always carry Narcan with you, especially if you use opioids or know people who do. In fact, Tapestry gives out Narcan and does regular Narcan trainings, which you should definitely check out, regardless of whether or not you use. You wouldn't want to be in a burning building without a way out, so why not be prepared to help in the case of an overdose? This is especially important right now, since street drugs can be cut with fentanyl, a powerful synthetic opioid that can increase the risk of an overdose. Fortunately, fentanyl test strips can detect the presence of fentanyl and many of its analogs. This knowledge is powerful. If your drugs test positive for fentanyl, you can adapt your safety plan. Start low and go slow, or take a smaller tester dose. Where and how you use are things you should also think about when putting together your safety plan. For example, if you can, use around others. Have a friend hang out with you while you inject. If they are using too, take turns injecting rather than using at the same time, so that you can keep an eye on each other. If you have to use alone, let someone know about your plans. 
tell them when and where you plan to use. Try to use in an area where you have privacy but can still be easily found in case of emergency, such as a public restroom or behind a building. If you use inside a building, home or car, always leave the doors unlocked. Place Narcan nearby you in an obvious location so that it can be found in the event of an overdose. All substance use has risk, but there are options and resources out there to help make it healthier and safer. Whether you've been using for a day, a month, or a decade, it's never too late to look out for yourself and your community.